In 2022, we finally made the dive and purchased our first gaming monitor. The main reason, I just wanted a bigger monitor, and for a 32-inch Samsung screen, I was able to get that for under $150 on sale. But there are some definitely some compromises on that display. The refresh rate was locked at 60 hertz. It had a few other shortcomings too. If you want to check that out, I'll have that review link for you right up there. Now the team over at InnoView reached out to us and asked if we would like to check out their 27 inch gaming monitor. Sure, it's a little bit smaller, but this does have some more interesting features that may even be better than Samsung. Let's take a closer look. Owing to the overall size here, this is a little bit too big for our photo booth, but we're gonna go ahead and unbox it, see how it comes out. Nice sturdy box, I do like that. And looks like instead of having styrofoam side to side to hold it, it's actually a clamshell that holds it. So that's nice too. And the instructions dropped out towards me here. So those are the instructions that come with it. Uh, it does have a power supply. I don't like the fact that this is a dedicated power supply versus just using a standard sort of connection. Uh, you do have your uh, stands here and everything it looks like that's for on the back and then everything will attach like a so it does include an hdmi cable and here is the monitor itself not too heavy very thin too look at how thin the overall body on this is now taking a look here you do have your dc input right here for power audio input vga and hdmi like a so so you do have power audio VGA and HDMI. You have your different function buttons on the bottom right here. It does have Visa mounts on the back too, so you can use this with a uh, pedestal or a stand or something along those lines, kind of like what I have. Uh, no remote control or anything like that. Mm, kind of a bummer, I do like that about uh, my Samsung that I have. Looking here real quick too, I don't see any, oh, there it is. There's the speaker grill right there. So we're gonna go ahead and get this put together really quick. Up next, we're gonna do some testing here on the Nintendo Switch with Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Up next, we're gonna do some testing on the Switch with Punch-Out, uh, just see what the lag and delay and everything like that is on here. So far, so good. I mean, Von Kaiser is not putting up too much of a fight against us. You know, 53 seconds, he is down. Still, I think black levels and everything on this, a little bit on the soft side, but not too, too bad. Sit down, got him. Overall, pretty decent performance there with um, Punch-Out. Let's try some Street Fighter. All right, playing some Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Let's see how we can do here against Ken. Oof. Wow, Ken kicking my rear end. Only got one hit in there. Oh my goodness. Oh, nice counter. Oh, he got me. Well, I can't blame that on the monitor. He just kicked my rear end. Let's finish up with Carl. If you have not had a chance to check out Carl yet, highly suggest it. This is from our good friend, Andrew Kennedy, AKA Nintendrew. Yeah, overall, again, and, and this is a game that's got great music to it, and, you know, one of the things that I really, you know, wish was better on this monitor was the onboard, um, onboard audio. It's, it's okay, but not great. Kind of like my jumping skills there were okay, but not great. Definitely a creative game. I've got to give uh, Nintendo a whole lot of props on this. Would I use this as my daily driver? Probably more for my computer than I would for game playing. Um, so that's what I'll probably end up doing is I will use my Samsung for my gaming monitor moving forward. And this is just my secondary computer monitor for editing going forward. Would I use this as my primary monitor if I didn't have my Samsung? Uh, or a gaming monitor, should I say, if I didn't have my Samsung? Definite maybe. Uh, but at the same time, it still leaves a little bit to be desired for the overall performance, I would say. The, the black levels being so light is probably the biggest like miss on this monitor, and, along with the built-in speakers. All right, so up next, this is Ratchet & Clank for the PlayStation 4. Now, this I have HDR actually turned on as well, um, so the image looks 
quite a bit better. Now, I'm still not getting 100 hertz out of it, so um, I'm sure that that's just something where the, you know, the PS4 did not output 100 hertz, I don't believe. Um, so as such, we're not getting that as a native display. Got a nice gold bolt there for Ratchet. Overall responsiveness is pretty good here. Good draw distance and everything too. Those frogs needed to uh, croak. Ha, <laughs> Get it? Croak? We're gonna dive into Gran Turismo 7 now. And uh, this is actually a game that I played through. I, I liked what was there, but for what was there, definitely overpriced, I'll say that much. Into the first corner, way too hot. Definitely a bit of over and understeer, quite honestly. Around the International Horseshoe. I do love the Daytona Road Course, though. So much fun. It flows so very, very well. Through the bus stop chicane. Yeah, this thing is just definitely needing more overall grip. So what do I think of this display overall? So first and foremost, the, the onboard speakers are pretty lightweight. Um, I would definitely recommend um, coming in for fuel. Uh, I would definitely recommend using some kind of a, a sound bar or external uh, speaker system to get you up and going uh, a little bit better. Um, these are definitely lacking in their overall performance. Um, the black levels are definitely low and it will not do any kind of an upscaling. So like for example, I am stuck here at 60 frames per second because that's what my video source here is, is 60 FPS. Now, if I hooked up an Xbox Series S or my PS5, maybe then I would be seeing the 100 uh, FPS, but as it is, uh, we're, we're kind of locked in at what we have here. Um, responsiveness, definitely pretty responsive. Um, I do like the overall performance. The, the bezels are not the most svelte, but at the same time, they're not huge either. The, the bottom lip, this part here, definitely the thickest bezel on the entire monitor. But again, you're getting a decent size monitor at a fairly inexpensive price at you know under $150. So that's something to keep in mind too. Um, is this something I would use day in and day out as a gaming monitor? Maybe. Um, is it gonna replace my Samsung? No. Um, I do wish that it had some kind of a, a remote or something like that to navigate the menu system. That is kind of a, a pain to deal with. Um, I will also say that it did not automatically recognize HDR of my PS4 here. I had to go in and manually turn HDR on for that to work. And without HDR turned on on the monitor, the PS4 did not recognize this as an HDR device. So that is important to note. So in the end, what do I think of the Interview 27-inch gaming monitor? So a few things first and foremost. Well, it does advertise up to 100 hertz for your signal input. You need to have that signal going into it for it to have that refresh rate. I didn't. Um, PS4, Xbox uh, One S, my Switch, my retro content and everything, 30 to 60 hertz is what you're looking at here. So it did not go above 60 hertz. It's kind of what you have going in is what you're going to have coming out. 1080p, it is pretty sharp, but as you can see here for Ratchet and Clank or Rift Apart, Look at the black levels here on my Samsung TV versus how washed out they look here. It is definitely a very soft display. Even with the black levels cranked, even with HDR mode on, it's a very soft picture, so that is something to keep in mind. The built-in speakers are not the best, but again, for a monitor, you're generally not gonna get great speakers anyways. This is something that would definitely benefit from a set of desktop speakers or a sound bar definitely going to give you much better performance out of it. I do also wish that it had more than one HDMI input on it and a remote control to go through the different menu settings. It's one of the things I do like about my Samsung monitor that I have. It is 5 inches bigger, 32 versus 27 inch, but it allows me through 
the remote control is I can go ahead and change my inputs. I can change the settings on it and it just makes it easier than futzing around with the buttons underneath here. Um, the mount or the stand that it comes with is adjustable so you can adjust the angle of attack and I do love the fact that it has Visa screw holes on the back so I can get another monitor pedestal and mount this to my desk. The way that I've actually been using this for the last several days is this has been sitting to my right, my laptop has been right here, and then to the left, my let my right here, but camera, you get what I'm saying. To this side has been my Samsung monitor that I have that has my built-in apps on it. So I've actually been re-watching Star Trek Enterprise while I've been going through and editing other videos. Now, on here, I do call it a dumb monitor and i don't mean that this is dumb or stupid or anything along those lines it just doesn't have any apps built into it so if you'd want to use it with a chromecast or an apple tv you can do that but again you only have one hdmi port on here you're kind of limited by that now you know it does hit a price point and for what it does it's a very nice large display at a price it's not great it's not garbage but it's kind of you get what you pay for in something like this I have found it useful for me to have working files on, but doing things like Photoshop, the color balance is just not accurate enough for me to go ahead and do you know, a lot of Photoshop work through here. I use either my Samsung monitor for that or my built-in monitor on my laptop. But these are just my opinions. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. How did this perform for you? What did you think of the colors? I was actually surprised it was very responsive and I did like that about it. Let me know down in the comments. Now, if you do want to check out some of the other videos that we've done on portable monitors, because this is very similar to some of the portable monitors that we've reviewed here on the channel, I'll have those videos coming up for you right now. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you want to help support Rock Solid Productions and be a part of our community, there's a number of different ways you can do so. First and foremost, join us over on our Patreon page or become a channel member here on YouTube. By joining through either one of those methods, you get early access to just about all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. We also give you shout outs at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also pick up some awesome Rock Solid Productions swag. We've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more available through our Teespring store on screen right now too. You can also pick up some of our awesome 3D printed cartridge stands, Amiibo holders, Nintendo DS holders, and more by visiting our 3D printer store on screen right now as well. Links for everything will be down below in a pinned comment. If you want to stay up to date with everything we have going on here at Rock Solid Productions, make sure that you're following us on the different social media networks. We're we're on Facebook at facebook.com slash Productions, Instagram at instagram.com slash Productions GK, and Twitter at Rocksolid Studios. If you're looking to pick this and other retro and modern gaming accessories up, make sure that you head on over to castlemaniagames.com. He has a feature over there called Castle Cash, where the more you spend, the more you earn towards future purchases, and Castle Cash is just like cash. He also offers convenient payment plans for more expensive items over $50. Finally, make sure that you use promo code Rocksolid. 10 when you're shopping at castlemaniagames.com as it can save you up to 10% on most items on the website. Again, thank you for watching this episode and I cannot wait to see you again soon.